Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and let's let's play seven Final Fantasy ships. I can... On the last episode, we took over the ship, and by that I mean we're taking it over right now. No, no, this is terrible. We don't have much time left, and I don't want to die. There's so much more that I've got to do. I I never got to do my special victory dance in battle. All right, then make this your first victory. Go on, show them. Yes, sir! Remember your last training. Begin! Yes, sir! You know who those guys are now? I'm back, and now I've got no regrets! Attack! Hmm. No. I know these dudes, I can't kill them. <laughs> Someone, please. I'm sorry, I can't take it anymore. The lack of space, the shaking, the roar of the engine. What are you going to do? We stole a submarine, but we can't pilot it. It's moving. Keep it up, Cloud. Hey, you're right. I do feel a little bit better driving. No sweat. Just leave everything to me. It's great. See, there's a sign that he's not the same cloud. Like, he got he got motion sickness again. When he thought he was Zack, he didn't get motion sickness, which was actually kind of great. It's like he forgot he had it, so he didn't have it. Oh, please drive safely, cloud. You can do it, cloud. Oh, thank you. I am happy to be a hostage. Now, if you fight them, they actually do Cloud's victory dance in battle. For those that don't remember, when we were sneaking into Jornin the first time, uh, Cloud was pretending to be a Shinra soldier, and he taught the victory dance to these people. So, I done it. Piling to the submarine is very difficult. I'm completely clueless. I, I didn't want to kill them, that's mean. But you can. <laughs> you can murder these poor men. Where am I, where am I supposed to pilot? Up here? Yeah. Well now, read the manual? Ah, oh, manuals are for nerds. Everything seems set. Start the manual, start the mission. Uh-oh, this is a minigame. Oh jeez, button placement. Okay, let's see. Up the sun, the sun, rotate. Speed up, fire, speed down, okay? Uh, presently in the ocean near Jern, the Red Submarine Land is carried in the huge materia. Come blah, 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 blah. Furthermore, it is confirmed that several mines... Oh, great. So there's mines on the ocean floor. The ocean floor has been monitored with Shinra's sonar system. Enemy subs can only be detected within the sonar area. Get in front of the detected area and hit lock on. Press switch to fire the torpedo. The missiles are found on the radar screen near the top. Okay. Gotcha. Uh... Oh, this is failable. I forgot to mention, every single time you get a large materia, it is possible to fail and not get that large materia. So, advice. Get the enemy submarine in front of you. Concentrate attack on the red leader submarine. Do not lose track of the submarine. Press page down to use your radar. Okay, let's do it. I'm glad I read that. It was kind of necessary. This switch? Main screen on. Change the screen mode. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is awkward. Um. Speed up. Speed. Speed up. There we go. Speed up! Speed up! What you do? Oh, this is awkward. This is awkward as hell. Oh, God, I'm mine. Oh, dear. Oh, God, there he is. You. You jerk. Wait, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. F fire. No, speed up. Speed up. Fire torpedo. Fire torpedo! Dive. Dive. Okay. Slow down. Fire all the torpedoes. Alright, get behind him. Speed up. This is really awkward. Go up. 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 You're not going up. You're going down. And that makes me sad. Okay, it's inversed controls. I gotta remember that. Slow down. 
Come on. Fire torpedoes. Down. Or down. Oh my god, this is so awkward. Down. <laughs> also, once again, no music. Was there really no music in the original, or is that a failing of the, um... The Steam version, I gotta wonder. So I don't remember there being so many parts without music. Speed up. Speed up. Fire. Mission complete! I shut it down. How? What a... Was there really no music? Because that's terrible. Um, it said mission complete. You gonna do something now? Okay, good. Receive Shinra sub! It's in our inventory, apparently. Whew! We did it! The huge materia should be at the bottom of the sea by now. Let's continue the search. All Shinra submarine units, do you read? All Shinra submarine units, do you read? Hmm. Must be from Shinra. Report number two. No, two. I saw that written on the deck. They must mean this sub. Alright, I'll do it. This is Shinra sub number two. Everything's normal. Roger. Your next mission is... Return to the Jornan dock. We will transport the huge materia from the airport. Those without other assignments will report for guard duty. That is all. Over and out. Jornan airport. We should make it if we hurry. Forget about the huge materia for now. We're... We're climbing. We've got to hurry. Really? Forget about the huge materia for now? Really? Why? Alright, how to drive the submarine. You get in, you perk chancel, blah, blah, blah. Oh, cool. So I can use this anytime I want, then. Um, why did we stop again? I don't... I don't... I don't get it. Whatever, let's just go to the stupid Shinra airport if they really want me to. Okay, I think I go out this- this is- this is the airport, right? Nope, that's the locker room. That room that I accidentally ran to, I think is where I have to go, right? Yeah, this place. Yep. Oh god. Oh god, where is that going? Shacklehod! No, I don't think we made it in time. Oh no! The huge materia! Can't we go after it? Where is it flying to? Rocket Town, of course. Oh dear. Whew! I hope everything goes all right until we get to Rocket Town. Then our mission's nearly complete. Not so fast. We still have one major task. We still have to transport the stuff. The stuff? Right. I'm not supposed to go up here, right? No. Oh, god damn it! Look, those other guys didn't attack me. Why do you have to attack me? And from both sides. So you're, like, extra rude. All of the rudeness on... Oh, for god's sakes. Well... Counterattack. I was hoping to actually limit break them to death, but screw it. Let's just beat the crap out of them. I ain't got time for you fools. Nope, no sort of dooms. No doom swords for you. Cloud limit break. I didn't expect that. A boom. I'm so not wasting my limit break on you guys. Especially when there's only one of them left. Everyone! Let's just have everyone limit break. Screw it, I'll waste your limit break though. Now, if you don't get three of a time, you always get Toy Box. And Toy Box does something weird. <laughs> it's like a random spell. That looks like that was Ice 2. Or is that even how Ice 2 looks? That might have been Icicle. You can't even normally cast that spell. Of course, you also can't cast Giant Chocoball landing on guys, but... I guess that makes sense. Gate Sith is just... My Limit Break does weird things. I think we can just leave now and go to a Rocket Town. Well, since we're going to Rocket Town, and that is where Sid lives, I'm bringing Sid.
Also, uh, that weapon I found is apparently this thing. Triple growth. It only has two slots, but it is one of two weapons, I believe, that has triple. So, that's awesome. It's a goddamn scimitar. <laughs> Well, that's pretty cool. So yeah, Sid is in the party. I'm going to uh, try to max this. If you max a all materia, you can sell it for stupidly large amounts of money. That being said, I probably don't even need money anymore at this point in the game. I think I have all that I need, but eh, that's my logic. That's what I'm going to try to max. Yeah. All right, off to Rocket Town. That should be right there. I should be pointed right at it. Right? Or is it beyond there? I might instead be pointed at, like, Nibel. I'm pointed at Nibel. I'm... It's right here, though. Cool. I remember this part. This is this is the part you could fail. I don't know if you can fail that submarine part. I mean, you probably could, but, whoa. Well, I might actually end up showing what happens if you fight those soldiers instead of, uh... Instead of choosing to put them in hostage right at the end. It's not really long enough for an alternate episode. What's young President Rufus doing by getting all those mechanics together? Is Shinra serious about launching this piece of crap rocket? But why now? There's a bunch of Shinra people here messing with the rocket. Is my rocket alright? Your rocket? Oh, that was a weird thing to say. Uh. Hmm. A spectacle. Something about to happen? Oh, I'm getting excited. Is that that girl that was like, I'm so bored, and I'm just like, go fight monsters, you'll level up. Those terrorists are here! <laughs> it's funny because that's not an over-exaggeration. We have engaged in terrorist activities. For example, this one time, two soldiers came up to me like idiots, and I threw a bunch of meteors at them. That could be considered terrorist activity, I think. Oh, oh, don't kill him. I want him to die due to meteors, because that's more hilarious for me. Meteors! Oh my god, one of them did 4,000 points of damage. That's probably enough to kill him alone. Those multi-attacking limit breaks are incredibly powerful, because maximum damage is th this is 9,999, but with uh, multi-targeting limit breaks, you can go higher than that. Don't let them get any further. Everyone, attack! Actually, you might be interested in our Take You Hostage Instead program. There are two Shinra soldiers that really enjoyed it. In fact, thanked me for letting them join. And if you weren't so rash in shooting me all the time... Uh, oh well. I don't think they're gonna listen. Kapow! Unfortunately, I did get a miss. <laughs> Take that! No, that didn't work. <laughs> I think Tifa has the ribbon on her, so she's immune to status effects. But he tried to use his weird sleep gas on me. These enemies are actually missing a lot. My evade must be up somehow. That's cool. S mine. Next. Ah, oh, you're not going anywhere. Nowhere! No, I'm, I'm gonna stay right here. Wow, he's one of those special robot guys. That's cool. I kinda wanna use Phoenix, just because I haven't showed Phoenix. How about I just show Phoenix? Or have I? I don't remember. This, by the way, I have not gone on a major recording session like this in a long time. I've been playing Final Fantasy VII for like three hours now. <laughs> Starting with the recording where you find where you go into Cloud's head in the live stream, that's the first one I started with. I've done all of these at once. Like ideally I would just finish this game, like backlog all of it, and then I can start in on new games. That'd be the best, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that. This game is huge. Perfect! Yeah, Phoenix is pretty cool. And if there's any people who are uh, down, they get revived with full health. God damn it! What the hell do they think they're gonna do with my rocket? I'm out of here, Cloud. I'm gonna kick those shit Shinra right out of my rocket. Let's do it. Okay, I was gonna make a cut so you didn't know that I edited it, but I had to go back because... What? You guys are terrorists? 
Wow, that's kind of exciting. <laughs> that might that might be my favorite line in this entire game now. Yep. <laughs> I was going to try to go back and save, but they wouldn't let me. Which makes sense, because the rocket's about to fire, but sometimes video games don't always follow that type of logic. And then she said that, and I'm like, oh, I... I have to show that. <laughs> Even though there's going to be an awkward edit. Oh, whatever. Most of my work is filled with awkward edits. You again. We will eliminate everyone who gets in Shinra's way. Wow, I actually have to fight Rude now. You wouldn't hit Tifa, would you, Rude? I mean, you got that crush. Poor innocent Tifa. You don't want to do that. Let's hit you with a bolt through. Oh god, Grand Spark. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought you were going to do something that hurt. Oh, well, he's doing it twice. That actually hurt a little bit. Um. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. Does anyone have steel? I kind of want to steal from Rude. Oh, Roundhouse. Grand Spark. Why are you just attacking Cloud? That is mean. He, he's targeting me. He is freaking targeting me. Um. Do, 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 do. Wake up! You sleepy bastard. Sense. Yeah, no one has steel. Whatever. Oh, alright. Well, you've lasted a decent amount of time, I will admit. But it's time to take you out. See, magic. Oh my god, Ultima. I forgot I got it. I could have used that as my opener. The ultimate magical force. No, oh, that looked like a whole lot of nothing. Ugh. It's generally, like, that's actually one of the worst Ultimas I've ever seen. It starts out as a small circle that basically, it's a sphere that grows bigger. But in this game, it looks like they start you inside of the sphere, so you can't even tell that. They got us. You step over your passed out body. Hey, buddy. Y you! Why are you here? Root of the Turk should have been here. Too bad. Those guys are over there. Oh, man. The Turks being done in like that. But I won't let you throw. They're so noble and dedicated to their job. Of course, they think they're fighting terrorists. And as I've said before, they're kind of right. But we're like positive terrorists. I think. I still don't... I mean... Do we even know? We know that Shinra's gonna send the rocket to destroy the comet. Like, what is our problem with that? Isn't that a good thing? I don't know. I mean, how are we planning to destroy it? Ugh. Look at that, we left one alive. That's nice of us. Can I even go this way? No. Alright, let's go this way. No, it was this way. Hey, guys! Hey! What the hell are you guys doing? Hey! Just when I thought something was going on, you came back. Listen to me, Captain. We're gonna launch this rocket. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're gonna load the Materia Bomb in this and blow up Meteor. Our rocket's gonna save the planet. Ugh, man, this is so cool! Wait a minute. Shut up! Just shut the hell up! How's the rocket? It's pretty much okay. But... We plan to ram it into Meteor on autopilot, but the most important device is broken. Broken? How's the repair going? she doing it. Oh, great. What a bunch of wizards you guys are. She's gonna take a hundred years. I'll take over, so don't worry about the autopilot. Hey, go ahead. Go and tell everyone. All right. Good luck, Captain. Hey, Sid. What are you doing? Those are generations of knowledge and wisdom inside of the materia. Oh, that's why we don't want to blow it into oblivion. Okay, fair enough. I guess I wasn't paying attention. We're going to borrow their powers to save the planet from Setheroth. There's no way that we can lose the huge materia. 
You understand that, right? Yeah, I understand. I understand that material is precious, and I also understand what you're thinking. But listen. I don't give a rat's ass about whether it's science or magical power. Nope. I guess I've had to choose. I'd rather put all my money into the power of science. Humans only used to walk around on the ground, but now they can fly! And finally, we're about to go into outer space. Science is a power created and developed by humans. And science just might be what it takes to save the planet. I was able to earn my living thanks to science. So to me, there's nothing greater. Now quit your worrying about what Shinra's gonna do. I don't want to regret not having done something later. But Sid... Shut the hell up! I don't want to hear it! Alright, time to get to work. Anyone who ain't involved, get the hell out of here. Oh, what the hell? What the hell happened? Hey, hey! Palma, what the hell you do? They said they were finished repairing the autopilot, so I launched it! <laughs> God damn it, Shira! Why'd you pick today to get fast? Damn. Won't even budge. It's completely locked up. Hey, hey, hey! Almost lift off. The hell? No countdown! Just don't seem the same without it. Hey, hey, hey! Blast off! Oh, there's your countdown. It's the last few seconds of your life. Uh... I hope those two idiots got away from the rocket before it launched. Ooh, terrorism is exciting! Oh my god. Just die. Hopefully she didn't get away. Well said, you've achieved your dream. I finally made it. Out of space. Let's see. How's the course set? Yep. It's headed for a collision with Media. Sid, can't we do something? If it goes on, we're... That damn Palmer went out of his way to lock the autopilot device. We might not be able to change course. Is this the end? Huh? What the hell are you saying? You're still young. Don't give up that easily. I'm not gonna crash into media. Just watch. I keep an escape pod on the rocket just for emergencies like this. I deciphered the lock code on the escape pod. We'll bail out right before we crash into media. Hey, what about the huge materia? If you want the materia, do whatever you want. The materia should be there after you climb that ladder. You sure? I don't know. I know what I said a minute ago. But maybe, all I really wanted was to just go into outer space. So, why don't you all do whatever you think is right? Since only 32, he shouldn't be giving you're so young speeches to a 22 year old. Of course, I give you're so young speeches to like 17 year olds, it's almost the same, whatever. <laughs> I rescind my previous statement. This part is easy to mess up, and none of my buttons are gonna be what they say they are, so... I might have to reload, because I'm not missing this, you only get one chance. Finally found the huge materia. 
the instructions so that the lock can only be opened if you answer the passcode from the control panel. There's a control panel. Try and operate it. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Enter passcode. Hey, Cloud. You know how to do it, right? Every time it says, enter passcodes... Okay, these are the buttons. Good. So that's okay, cancel, menu, pick up. All right, good. If you punch in the right code, it'll unlock, and you'll get the huge materia. So, what order am I supposed to press the passcode in? I don't know. Just try and punch in the codes randomly. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four. Of course. Unauthorized. Oh, jeez. Protection system will activate in three minutes. Seems like you missed the code. If we don't enter the correct passcode before the protection system activates, we won't be able to get the materia back. Um. All right. So let's try. Okay. Okay. Um. Switch. Cancel. I heard the passcode's only. It's only top shimmer people. We know how to enter. Let me see. Try and enter the same code while I try to remember the passcode. All right. So eventually, Sid will start giving me clues if I remember correct. I'm working on seven-year-old knowledge at this point. Older than seven years. Sixteen-year-old. All right. I have a feeling you press OK only once. All right. So there's an OK. All right. So let's start with OK. And then use cancel, menu, cancel. I think there was a key that you have to press twice. All right, let's try switch, switch, okay, cancel. I'm pretty sure that the last code was menu, or maybe it was cancel. Okay, let's try, um, cancel, uh, okay, menu, menu. No, the first code wasn't switch. All right. Um, <coughs> okay. Menu. Switch. Cancel. All right. No, the third the third code was cancel. I think. Okay. Oh jeez. Okay. Um. Cancel. Cancel. Menu. I'm pretty sure the last code was menu- oh, jeez, he said that already, alright. Okay. Switch. Cancel. Menu. Damn it. He just- he's just saying it again. Alright, let's try, um... Cancel. Okay. Cancel. Menu. Hmm. Damn it. Um, cancel. <laughs> menu. Okay. Oh my god. You don't have any time, damn it! I I'm gonna have to reset, I'm sorry. I was hoping I could show the correct thing, but I can't. I just can't. Did you use menu? I'm pretty sure you didn't. Alright. Let's try... Menu... This might be my last chance. Okay. Cancel. Cancel. Nope. There's no time left. Um. Menu. Cancel. Okay. Menu. Ah, oh, shit! The protection system activated! Cloud, too bad. But we gotta let it go. Or do we? Oh look, we're back here again. Let me see. Um, let me just randomly hit in. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, no, I know how to use it. Yeah, no, it's it's great. Uh, I get it. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm just gonna randomly randomly hit in code. Sid, you don't have to give what's that? I'm gonna randomly hit. Okay. Uh, switch. Cancel. Cancel. Oh, well, interesting. <laughs> Whoa, pretty good. 
You got the password in a single try. You must have known the passcode. If not, it's impossible. That's a special line that only comes if you indeed looked up the passcode before you played this or played it previously. Because there's no way you're going to guess it on the first try by acting. I mean, I guess it's, it is statistically possible. It's just very unlikely. Um, I should have, like, you have to do some quick logic there because uh, if two buttons are pressed at once and there's only four buttons, that means that one button will not be pressed. OK is a button that is pressed. Um, he mentions menu not being one of, it not being the third button. Which means... Actually, that doesn't really tell you too much, does it? Except it's not the third button. Uh... I don't know. It, it is possible to figure it out. And the first time I did it, I failed. And the second time, I did it legitimately. But, uh... Yeah, that time I looked it up. Because screw that crap. I should have looked it up the first time. <laughs> but whatever. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Got the huge materia. Um... Where's the... Where am I going? Escape pod. A scrap pod. <clears throat> ha! There we go. Um, that seems dangerous. Ugh! Damn! My leg's stuck under the debris. Sid! I can't. It's so heavy I can't lift it, says the girl who can throw robots around like they're nothing. Don't worry about me. Hurry up and go. If you don't, that rocket's gonna crash into media. I can't go without my friends. You ass! There ain't no time to worry about other people! I'm gonna do whatever I can. You stupid. You're really frickin' stupid! <laughs> tank number eight blew up. So tank number eight really was malfunctioning. Shahira, you were right. But this is the end for me. <coughs> Don't say that, Sid. Yeah, Shakira. I tagged along. I'm coming to help you. You stupid bitch. Sorry. The escape pod is this way. Please hurry. Don't have to tell me twice. Hurry. I'm going to detach the escape pod. Hey, Shahira. Does this pod really fly? It'll be okay. I checked it. Then I'm relieved. Thanks. Peace out, yo! Oh, this game has such a weird level of technology. It's just a large part of it is still fantasy, and then there's weird space travel stuff. Though there's space travel in Final Fantasy VIII also, I think. So this is... Out of Space. Man, it's the real thing. I'm really here in Out of Space. So long, Shinra, number 
<laughs> that just showed you the scale of the explosion. Okay, well, to be fair, the bomb wasn't on it, but, um, <laughs> it looks like this isn't an ordinary meteor. It appears to be held together by arcane power. I'm actually surprised the explosion was that big without the big materia, now that I think about it. It should have just been like, boop. Time to get fornicating and looting. Rufus and the others' plan was a failure. What a bust. I kinda hoped it'd work. We've been bothering them as much as we can. But there's no other way. Wonder if we've been wrong this entire time. Makes you worry, doesn't it? Don't worry. Think. Hey, the girl's rat. You start worrying and there's no stopping it. Things, uh... Things just start falling apart and get worse and worse. You pretty damn optimistic. You up to something? Yeah. I've been thinking about this and that. All the time we've been looking up at the planet. And I've been thinking, even when we're floating to the ocean of that escape pod. I have been thinking too. About the universe, planet, ocean. How wide and big. No matter where I go, and what I do, it won't change a thing. Maybe you're right. But I came up with something different. I always thought the planet was so huge. But looking at it from space, I realized it's so small. We're just floating in the dark. Kinda makes you feel powerless. On top of that, it's got Sethiroth festering inside of it like a sickness. That's why I say the planet is still a kid. A little kid sick and trembling in the middle of the huge universe. Someone's gotta protect it. You follow me? That someone is us. Sid, that's beautiful. Yo, Sid! You even got me! Now what? We gonna protect the planet from media? I'm still thinking about that one. Wait, Yuffie was in here? Oh my god, what a ninja. Huh? She was hiding behind that control console. <laughs> That's hilarious. Did you hear something? Maybe it's the planet's scream? Or is it Meteor? Hey, how do we know that that's really the planet's scream? Did you forget? Bugjin Hagen told us. Let's go see my grandfather, the Cosmos Canyon. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something helpful. That's gonna have to wait till next time, however. This episode is probably already too long. That guy. 
He was that weird old dude. I used to think that he was a naturalist. But he was into all them machines. Whatever, I'll talk to these guys later. It's gonna take too long. Um, my voice is completely torn up. I've been recording for way too long. This is gonna be really fun to edit all of this, I'm telling you. But, um... I, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm getting into the game. There's supposed to have been, like, large swaths of story, which I like. Because sometimes the, the random battles just get tedious. I mean, it's cool building up your abilities and everything, but, um... A lot of the times I also feel like I'm a little bit overpowered, but... What are you gonna do? That happens to any RPG that I'm familiar with, it seems. Okay. I am Cross Knights. On the next episode, we're gonna go back to Cosmo Canyon. And I will keep on accidentally calling it Cosmos Canyon. But that's just the way it is. And then we'll talk to Old Glowworm Legs, who's actually on a gigantic green floating ball. I looked it up online. I don't know if I mentioned that. He doesn't have the legs of a glowworm. A floating glowworm. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Later. I'm sorry, guys, but in this alternate timeline, I decided to be a jerk. Doo -doo -doo. Now we can show you how it's done! Yep. You guys... You guys will do just fine, and you'll live happy lives. Yeah, no, just keep on shooting, mate. It'll make them feel like they're doing something useful. Oh, guys, don't look! Don't look, guys. I'm sorry. Captain, I can't hold on any longer. The special pose! Ugh, they got me. I'm glad I decided not to be a jerk and do that. That would just be too mean.